Yes, the trees are probably the most difficult part of this picture. I'm going to do this in several stages. Start off with the side. And what I'm doing now is putting on the 174, the dark green. Now we'll be a little bit more careful with this because we want it to have some branches coming up through, or tree, tree trunks and whatever coming up through here. So we do that to start with. Doesn't really matter that much what you do here. You certainly don't have to follow me. If I did it again, I'd do it differently. But what I'm looking for is some light there, light there. You see, I've got some light there. It looks odd at the moment, but it won't when we, uh, we finish it. And then you continue. Just leaving that because we'll be doing that next. And I'll come up as far as I think I'll come up as far as here because we've I've already filled that in with 174. And I'll leave this little section again. If we do it in several stages, you'll see it done more than once. Here, what I've done here is all around here, I've just gone round with the 174. And again, don't have to be too fussy here. We'll just squiggle the pencil like you see me doing here. I don't have to press terribly hard just to get it so that what we get is a random design. In other words, some of the areas, like here, will be darker than others. And this sort of creates this fantastic effect uh, on the trees. And when we put the darker colours on, and finally we'll put light over dark here in the situation, we'll get a really, really attractive tree and one that's very attainable. Okay, that's great. So that's as far as I'm going to go at the moment. Let's, oh, in fact, let's just do around here so that we see the tree trunks that are coming through. I can work on them as well. That's great. Now, it doesn't look much, does it, at the moment? But if you look at this, you'll see that that looks a bit different than that. Now, let me show you why. Now, it's it's a good idea to use the soft colour shaper tapered one because it's very very soft. If you've got the ivory you just have to be very careful. If you've got the grey this probably wouldn't work as well because all I'm doing I'm not pressing too hard I'm just you'll see if I come down here you'll see the difference between these two. I've already done over here. All we're doing is very very lightly pushing some of the colour into the tooth of the paper which makes it a cleaner look. Can you see that? Well you should be able to see that on the screen. Right, like that. Okay, so we've all done that area. Okay. It may not look that much difference, but if you look at that you'll see it looks sparkly where that doesn't look so much uh, so sparkly. Okay, so we go over I'll speed it up a little bit now because now you've seen it. It won't take long to do. As you can see. Now, if you left it like that, it would be, you just have a load of flat trees, but at least you've got some degree of impression of foliage, haven't you, like that? But we're a long way off. Okay, now having done that, the very next thing we're going to be doing is putting some of these you can design it as you want but you don't want too many just enough to give the impression that goes up and it goes up through there you got it let's do another one over here that comes up from there and a couple like that that's all we need and we'll do that all the way along now why you've got that one in your hand which is 175 what we do now is don't press too hard with this because we've got other colours to put on what we want to do is darken that area like that now, I bet you think that looks daft Carl it does at the moment folks but believe me when I've finished that will look great 
what we're looking for is the 175 darkening app. From that, we can then go over all the rest of it. You don't do every square millimetre though. If you look at what I'm doing, and I'll stop when I get to about here so you can see the dis distance difference between the two. Now already you should be able to see the effects that I'm trying to achieve. See that? Getting depth. Okay. Let's continue. I want to go all the way up here and do that as well to show you. It's a good idea to flit about as well. Don't just do it in, in a regular pattern. You can even sort of come over here and do it and then switch back. The more you switch about, the more random the design will be. Now let's have a let's have a look at that before we go any further. If you're wondering, all of this here is going to be quite light with the colours of the building. Now you see we've got dark here, we've got light here, we've got dark here, we've got light here, we've got light, what, light the light here, and so on as you go through. And here a little bit more careful with this. There we are again. You'll see some light, some dark. Where I've used the and some dark. Just going to do a little bit of repair work here. I think we'll just bring that down just a touch. See how nice that tree looks now. It's like the other side. I, I told you I was going to do one there. Where you can see how nice that looks poking out from behind. That's great. Now that is great. If you can do it like that, there's no need to blend it anymore. We've already done it once. But what we've got to do now is just pick and choose certain areas. Like, for instance, that would be a little darker. Now what I'm doing is pressing just a little harder. Can you see? Now this area here looks as though it's forward of that area. But a little bit of... You really have to pick and choose what you do now. Here, for instance, I'm going to have that quite dark there, and then it lightens up, leave it light. Let me put some, a little bit of dark. Now, it, it's, there is a danger when you do this of it looking like a lot of bird's nest, so be careful. Just follow my lead. We, we've got to put light back on here again. We haven't um, completely lost all the light, but you can see as I'm twi twiddling and fiddling the pencil, around you can see that there's areas of light being left and I'm going to continue with this until we get to the other side that's there I'm going to make that just a little darker just there and there but not anywhere else just there because what I'm going to be doing in a minute is recessing these trunks so they disappear into the depths of the tree. Ooh, that sounds interesting, Cole. No, it is fascinating. Those of you have all ways thought the landscapes were too difficult because of the trees. Change your mind now. There we are. And I think what I do there, I'm not really keen on that. In there, so we just use a bit of 174 and do a bit of repair work like that. Now, look at the difference between that and that. You wouldn't believe it, would you? That, that that's the same, and we're still a long way to go. Anyway, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do all of this in the same way, just do a little tiny bit more to show you how I did that. Remember, this is general color now over the whole thing, just splitting up the foliage. That's all we're doing. Like that. And then I'll come back in and then I'll pick up. I'll continue this along here because I like the darker edge of the tree there. See how nice that looks. 
keep it light on top and then just pick it up. A few dark areas. Like that. And we'll carry along right to the end here. Once I've done that, I'll then show you the next um, procedure here because we've got to put some reddish brown in there and then we're going to put a little bit of black and then we're going to put some light. Then you'll see the difference between this and this. And what I'll do is I'll do this gradually as we move along to here where we'll, we'll finish. I'll do the same procedure so you'll see it several times and uh, how it, we get around the buildings and leave the uh, into here would be interesting. I'm sure you're looking forward to that bit. Tricky, but not impossible. Now with all of the foliage completed with the 175, you can see uh, we've still got work to do, quite a lot of work to do. You still haven't got the separation that I want just yet. And what I'm using now is 283. This is a kind of ready brown which is really really nice in the trees and I don't know whether you can pick it up necessarily on the screen but it does look really attractive not all over it's just in spots a bit more up here and this is ahead of the, the next color which is going to be black but before we put the black on, which is our really our very next colour we're going to be using, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how we start the ball rolling here. Um, what I'm going to do is use grey. Now the grey I'm using is the 233, which normally you could use a 273. But as we're using grey here, in the, as I use it in the sky, I'm going to put in, I'm not going to put very much on, just a little. Just starts the ball rolling. Now, on top of that, I'm going to use this little spot of 182. I'd already put a little bit of 182 on top of the ivory. That gives me the colour I want. Now, the next colour is 177. And here, what I'm doing is I'm just shaking. I'll do one, and then you can see how it works. I want to keep it quite like that okay you'll see why in a minute I'll do one and then I'll do the other now this is the reason why I wanted to do it because I'm going now I'm going to use the black the black then go either side of the trunk there and then spread out and we'll be using the black into the foliage anyway now what that does as you can see from there is it gives me, well you can see it almost loses that doesn't it, because your black's going on top of all the green, you, what, what this is ending up being is a very very dark green, but I'm going to show you something in a minute which will blow your mind, 